It's just that all men are sure it never happened to them, and most women at one time or another have done it, so you do the math. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 funniest rom-com scenes of all time. You're saying I'm some kind of mental person? Oh, wait. Are you gonna step outside or am I gonna have to drag you? I oh, ain't gonna have to drag me. Keep it in the family, okay? For this list, we'll be looking at side-splitting moments that make us laugh until we cry, even after all these years. Before we get started, let us know in the comments what your favorite romantic comedy is. Number 10. The Zipper Scene – There's Something About Mary There's Something About Mary is one of the most memorable rom-coms to come out of the late 90s. Helmed by the Farrelly brothers, the movie is full of gross-out humor. But the most visceral one takes place at the start. In a flashback, Ben Stiller's character Ted accidentally gets his, um, appendage stuck in the zipper of his pants. Well, I mean, um, is it the, um, or the... Is it the Frank or the beans? Right. Oh, I, 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 I don't know. It looks like I think it's a little bit of both. To make matters worse, the incident happens right before he's supposed to take his dream date Mary, played by Cameron Diaz, to prom. The scene hilariously escalates as her parents, a police officer, and firefighter all try to attempt to save the day. Relax. I, you already laid the tracks. That's the hard part. Now we're just gonna back it up. Teddy, be brave. It's just like pulling off a band-aid. Although it can be hard to watch, there's no mistaking that this moment has viewers seeing zippers in a whole new way. We got a bleeder! Keep the pressure on, keep it on! Number 9. The Double Date with Keanu Reeves – Always Be My Maybe What's more gut-punching than seeing your crush with someone else? How about when that someone else is Keanu Reeves? Randall Park's Marcus is in this unenviable position when Ali Wong's character Sasha brings the screen icon on a double date. I've missed you. I've missed you too. I've missed you so much. I missed your mouth. I missed your heart. Oh god, I missed your beard. I missed your light. Playing an exaggerated and pretentious version of himself, Reeve serves some great one-liners. The man who embraces his mediocre nothingness shines greater than any. Park heightens the tension further by offering up some amazing reaction shots. It's hard to narrow down his best moment because, let's be honest, Keanu Reeves' entire appearance is great. However, the comedic timing in this scene is off the charts. The only stars that matter are the ones you look at when you dream. <laughs> Thank you. Number 8. The Fountain Fight Bridget Jones, The Edge of Reason Bridget Jones's page-to-screen adaptations are an audience favorite. The Renee Zellweger-led films follow the lovably awkward TV reporter as she navigates life and love in London. You two have a genuinely gorgeous bottle. Thank you. I'm actually with the Mexican ambassador, the head of Amnesty International, and the Undersecretary for Trade and Industry. Her romantic triangle with Mark Darcy and Daniel Cleaver, played by Colin Firth and Hugh Grant respectively, leads to an epic showdown in the first film. The scene is so memorable that it's recreated in the sequel, The Edge of Reason. However, this time they trade a Greek restaurant for a park fountain as their battleground of choice. Well, what are you gonna do now? Drown me in 16 inches of water? Get yes, right here! The most hilarious part of the scene is the fact that the two men aren't coordinated enough to brawl. Moments like these prove that the Jones trilogy is one of the most iconic rom-com franchises to date. If you're so obsessed with Bridget Jones, why don't you just marry her? Because then she definitely shagged me. Number 7. The Airplane Interrogation – Bridesmaids Melissa McCarthy was a master of improv long before she became a comedy megastar. The skill certainly served her well in her breakout role as Oddball Megan in Paul Feig's Bridesmaids. I'm not gonna say I survived and say I thrived. I met a dolphin down there, and I swear to God that dolphin looked 
not at me, but into my soul. Playing off her real husband, Ben Falcone, her character interrogates and flirts with her airplane seamate, who she is convinced is an air marshal. McCarthy ad-libs most of the dialogue in the scene and gives audiences a masterclass in comedic timing. I have to get back to my seat. Yeah, you gotta get back on my seat. Uh, 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 you get it? Her performance was so well received that she even earned a Best Supporting Actress Oscar nomination in 2012. Based on this moment alone, she's more than deserving of that honor. Yes. I knew it! I got your back, John! Number 6. The Eagle Attack the Proposal Sandra Bullock is a reigning queen of rom-coms, and one of her best performances is in 2009's The Proposal. Bullock portrays Margaret, a workaholic editor-in-chief who finds out she is facing deportation to Canada. Instead of packing her bags, she blackmails her assistant Andrew, played by real-life Canadian Ryan Reynolds, to become her fiancé. I'm not going to marry you. Sure you are. Because if you don't marry me, your dreams of touching the lives of millions with the written word are dead. The film offers no shortage of memorable moments, but there's one that takes the cake. After accidentally letting Andrew's family dog out, hilarity ensues as the pooch is captured by an eagle. Suddenly, it's up to the ill-equipped executive to rescue him. Give me that dog! <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, 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 okay. There's an old showbiz saying that you should never work with kids or animals, but luckily, Bullock ignores that sound advice and gives us this side-splitting moment. <laughs> that cute or what? I know. <laughs> Number 5. The Poker Game – How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days Kate Hudson and Matthew McConaughey are certified rom-com royalty, so it's no wonder that their first on-screen collaboration became a massive hit in 2003. Oh, you are already falling in love with me. I'm gonna make you wish you were dead. The story follows Andy, a how-to writer exploring how women sabotage relationships. As one of her tactics, she attempts to foil Ben's poker game with his friends by being every stereotype of an overbearing girlfriend. Our love fern! It's dead. No, honey, it's just sleeping. You let it die! You gonna let us die? Hmm? Of course, Ben has his own agenda in play, and his career success hinges on keeping their love connection alive. No matter what Andy does, Ben has no choice but to keep his cool. The tension created by their opposing goals is the cherry on top of this comedic scene. Can you, can you give me another chance? Haven't you had enough? Number 4. I'll have what she's having, When Harry Met Sally Screenwriting legend Nora Ephron blessed audiences with comedy classics like Sleepless in Seattle and You've Got Mail. Well, that would mean he's a West Sider. Isn't that amazing? Maybe I've seen him and don't even know it. You could have seen him every day and not know it. That said, there's no denying that her pièce de résistance is When Harry Met Sally. Is that men and women can't be friends because the sex part always gets in the way. Despite the skepticism of Harry, played by Billy Crystal, the 80s classic follows his platonic friendship with Meg Ryan Sally as they come in and out of each other's lives over the years. During a notable lunch date, the pair debate over the topic of female sexuality. What are you saying, that they fake orgasm? It's possible. Get out of here. Why? Most women at one time or another have faked it. Well, they haven't faked it with me. How do you know? Because I know. Not one to back down from, Sally puts her cynical friend in his place by proving her point in the middle of a crowded deli. Diners watch as the cringy but hilarious moment plays out, cementing it as one of the most iconic moments in romantic comedy history. I'll have what she's having. Number 3. The Karaoke Scene – My Best Friend's Wedding one of the most controversial rom-com characters in the 90s is without a doubt My Best Friend's Wedding's protagonist, Jules Porter. What did you do with my best friend? Huh? I'm still your best friend. Just haven't seen you for a while. Played by Oscar winner Julia Roberts, the food critic is determined to ruin the upcoming wedding of her friend Michael in an effort to get him to fall for her. 
Her main obstacle is the sweet bride-to-be Kimmy, portrayed by Cameron Diaz. French kissing! Fishing! Fishing! I've always loved Florence. When you should take her there. She's perky, she deserves a honeymoon. During a night out, Jules pressures Kimmy, stricken by stage fright, into performing karaoke. Although her vocals are far from pitch perfect, with the support of the bar, Kimmy loosens up. <laughs> Thus, the ill-fated scheme backfires. Michael becomes even more endeared by his fiancé's confidence, and it's back to the drawing board for Jules. Number 2. The Morning After – 50 First Dates When veterinarian Henry Roth, played by Adam Sandler, meets Drew Barrymore's Lucy, he thinks he's found his perfect match. The only issue is that she suffers from short-term memory loss and wakes up every morning having completely forgotten what happened the day before. Aloha, I'm Henry Roth. Uh, we met here at the Pukilau Cafe about a year after your accident. Um, I like you and you like me, most days. Every day is different. Through Henry's determination, though, the relationship progresses and they eventually spend the night together. Unfortunately, Lucy wakes up the next morning thinking Henry is a stranger. Hey, 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 okay, I know this is hard for you to understand right now, but... We are actually seeing each other. We've been seeing each other for a while now. Given those circumstances, her reaction is entirely reasonable. It also makes for some good physical comedy. You can't help but appreciate a man who's not scared off by this situation. Well, I may not be able to kick your ass, but my sister sir can. Thanks, buddy. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Albert Brenneman's Moves, Hitch. We could never dream of saying get out to Kevin James's hilarious wedding dance. Going undercover, it happened one night. Clark Gable and Claudette Colbert play bickering spouses to fool the detectives. We don't have to lose your temper! You don't have to lose your temper! That's what they said the other time, too. Every time I tried to protect you. The other night at the Elf's dance, when that big Swede made a pass at you. He didn't make a pass at me, I told you a million times! Ah, uh, no, I saw him. Kept pawing you all over the dance floor. It's curtains for Giselle. Enchanted. Why buy fabric when you've got material just hanging around? You're unhappy. You made a dress out of my curtains? Oh, you are unhappy. I am so sorry. I'm... Oh, I'm not unhappy. I'm angry. Life imitates art. Isn't it romantic? Rebel Wilson's character wakes up in the middle of a romantic comedy. So let me get this straight. Your emergency is that your apartment is too big. You have every shoe you could ever want, and they all fit your cute feet. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was... I... 13 flirty and not so thriving. 13 going on 30. Jenna's taste in guys hasn't caught up with her new age. So do you want to go out sometime? Uh, yeah. we're gonna Can take you drive? off now. Time to go. What, do you want to go to jail? I'm a bad guy. The man? Gross. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The scene where everyone finds out. Crazy Stupid Love Before they tap danced in La La Land, Emma Stone and Ryan Gosling made rom-com magic in 2011's Crazy Stupid Love. Facing divorce, Steve Carell's Cal recruits Jacob, played by Ryan Gosling, to help him get back into dating. Meanwhile, Jacob is starting a romance with Hannah, a law school grad played by Emma Stone. And it's a surprise to everyone when we find out that she's actually Cal's daughter. Nobody takes this news particularly well. No, no, no. I want to see the boyfriend, Can't please. Breathe. Can I take this off now? Cal, what are, you do what are you doing with the daughter that's gr grown up? I was 17. That's why we had to get married so young. That is something you should have told me. And as if that reveal weren't enough, the scene just continues to escalate. Daddy, he doesn't even know that I'm in love with him. <laughs> with who? With him. Are you pointing at me? You're pointing at him? She's pointing at him? Oh. More characters show up and more truths are told. The scene is definitely a lesson in storytelling gymnastics, but gets funnier with each reveal, making it equal parts surprising and hilarious. 
You know how much pain and suffering you cause my friend, you dumb son? Stay the hell away from my daughter! You stay away from my daughter! I don't even know you! Come on, do over here! What are you grabbing? Come on, I'm like, oh my god! Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.